Hey everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. This video is all about the model question paper released by VTU for the subject Introduction to Electronics and Communication Engineering with the code 1BESC104C bar 204C. Let's get in and understand what are all the questions appeared in model question paper with respect to each and every module. So at my left I have a syllabus copy of Introduction to Electronics and Communication Engineering. As we know we have 5 modules and we will be having total 10 questions out of these 5 modules. Means the pattern will be, we will be having a choice from each modules. Let's say module 1 will be having 20 marks, module 2 for 20 marks, similarly all the modules covering 100 marks. So you will be getting question 1 you can observe and question 2 this is from module 1. Similarly question 3 and 4 from module 2. Similarly 5 and 6 from module 3, 7, 8 from module 4, 9, 10 from module 5. You need to answer one complete question from module 1 as question number 1 or question number 2. You can't mix up this question with this question. This, the pattern will be like that. Now let's look at the question paper. What are all the important questions they have added in this model question paper of the subject Introduction to Electronics and Communication. And here the very first question is draw and explain the block diagram of power supply system and describe the function of each block. This is a very important question, block diagram and its components, it is asked for 8 marks. Even if you look at the previous exam question paper of the electronic subject, they have asked this question repeatedly. Then rectifier question, with a neat circuit diagram explain the working of full wave bridge rectifier. This is asked for 6 marks. Out of rectifiers, half wave rectifier, center tapped full wave or bridge rectifier, you will be getting one question for sure. Then there is a new concept added in the module 1 that is SMPS, it is asked here. Describe the operation of switched mode power supply SMPS with neat diagram. This is covered already in my playlist, you can observe the module 1 video, you can get answer for all these. Then in the choice question, second question is a choice for module 1, you can also answer this. What is an amplifier? Explain its type of amplifiers. Here an amplifier question is asked for 6 marks, then B derive an expression for the gain of the amplifier with negative feedback, explain how feedback improves the performance. This is a simple derivation to explain how the gain of an amplifier is going to be varied in a negative feedback and how it will be gives the stability to an amplifier. This is for 7 marks. Then define input resistance, output resistance, phase shift in amplifiers. How do these parameters affect in amplifier performance? This is all about the second question. Here they have clearly separated module 1 questions as question 1 covering the chapter 1, question 2 covering the chapter 2. But in your exam, the questions may be mixed up. You can't say question 1 will come from chapter 1 and question 2 will come from chapter 2. It is not like that. Here in the model paper they have given like that. But amplifier question will come over here also you will uh, get bridge rectifier or any other question appear in the second question as well. Means you need to prepare for the complete module so that you can answer any one of these two questions fully. That is how the question paper will be prepared. Coming to module 2. Module 2 is oscillators and operational amplifiers. Here if you observe in the model paper, the third question, first one is explain single stage A stable oscillator with circuit diagram is asked for 6 marks. Then list and explain the characteristics and parameters of ideal op-amp. Characteristics of an ideal op-amp is very very important question. You can easily expect in exam as well. Then explain the operation of op-amp integrator and differentiator. In op-amp circuits you will be having inverting amplifier, non-inverting amplifier, integrator, differentiator and summer. Out of these you will get one or two questions for exam in exam for sure. Then in the choice question if you see we have explained the operation of three stage ladder RC network oscillator. This is also a very common question asked in exams repeatedly. Then draw and explain the working of inverting, non-inverting amplifier configurations using op-amp. Derive their voltage gain expressions. You can see here inverting, non-inverting amplifier is also asked. Integrator, differentiator is also asked. These are very important questions from op-amp chapter. Then write a short notes on crystal controlled oscillator include the working principle and waveform. This is all about module 2. You will get oscillator question. Um, as 2-3 oscillator questions will be there and op-amp questions will be like explaining the circuit and deriving the expressions for the output with a waveform. That is how the question will come from module 2. 
Coming to module 3, module 3 is communication, analog communication system and digital communication systems that is uh, ASK, FSK, PSK. Now in module 3, we will be having draw the block diagram of modern communication system. This is a block diagram of a communication system. This is asked for 8 marks. This is also a very important question and discuss the different types of communication systems with an example. This is asked for 6 marks and write short note on noise and its effects in communication system how noise will disturb your communication. This is question number 5 from module 3. In question 6, choice question, explain amplitude modulation with neat waveform. Derive the expression for AM wave. This is a derivation for AM. This is asked for 8 marks. Then describe the frequency shift keying and phase shift keying AFSK and PSK with neat labeled waveforms. This is asked for 6 marks. Compare analog and digital communication and list the advantages of digital communication over analog. This is asked for 6 marks. Here also, this modern communication system can easily expect it and uh, you can expect one question from AM or FM and you can expect FSK, PSK questions easily. Okay. And other than that, uh, one more question they will add from any of the other concepts. You can also expect radio wave propagation as a question for 6 to 8 marks. This is from module 3. Coming to module 4, module 4 is embedded systems. Here, this is a very easy concept you can easily score in this module. Define embedded system, differentiate between embedded system and general purpose system. Here there are 2-3 differences. Let's say we have microprocessor versus microcontroller difference they will be asking or embedded system versus general purpose system they will be asking. At least one difference question will be there from module 4. Then B question is using suitable diagrams explain instrumentation and control system this is a block diagram again this is for seven marks typical embedded system elements this is also a block diagram uh, what are all the elements contained in a embedded system this is for seven marks then question number eight write a short note on core of embedded systems with this block diagram uh, here we need to explain the different cores available in embedded system as processors as I said, you can see compare RISC and CISC architectures is asked here and GPP and ASIC ASIP processors is asked. So embedded system and general purpose system can be asked, RISC and CISC will be asked or you can easily expect microprocessor versus microcontroller differences also. Then write a short note on sensors, actuators and LED displays using embedded systems. This is from module 4. Coming to module 5, module 5 is digital electronics where we'll be starting with number system. So convert the following numbers. This is a general question. If you understand the conversion from binary to uh, decimal, decimal to hexadecimal, hexadecimal to octal like that, you can easily get six to eight marks. This is a standard question will be there for exam for sure. Then using Boolean expressions or theorems, prove these two expressions. This is also a common question. We can easily expect one question for simplification. Then explain ones and twos complement method with examples is asked. Here, in a choice question, explain the design procedure for combinational logic circuits with suitable diagram is asked. asked. Then explain, express the Boolean function f is equal to a plus b bar c in a sum of min terms. Okay. Then write a short note on half adder and its truth table. Half adder will be asked or full adder will be asked. So this is all about the model question paper from uh, all the five modules in introduction to electronics and communication engineering subject. Already we have a playlist available for introduction to electronics and communication in our channel. You can also check the solution video. It will be uploaded in the same playlist. This is all about the model question paper for the subject introduction to electronics and communication. For any other subject videos, please subscribe to the channel and join as a member. You can access the videos as soon as it get uploaded. Thank you.